Man, all the stuff we're getting done in the shop. Woo! Yeah. Anyway, VW Lifers, <laughs> here's what we're doing today. So we're in this quarantine and we've been thinking like, what is something that we can all relate to in the Volkswagen world? And it's 10 things about owning a Volkswagen that you weren't told before you got one. Yeah, there are lots of things that you don't know about, right, uh, Jake, about owning a Volkswagen that you don't know until you're actually are driving one down the, down the road and usually working on it in your garage. Inside the road, in your garage. <laughs> yeah. And for those of you that don't own Volkswagens, these are kind of 10 things you can expect to find when you own a Volkswagen. And this, they're not all bad. No, no they're not. Most of them are good. I would say so. Yeah. But uh, stick around, let's see what we find. Oh, social distancing, hello. This isn't social distancing. Ah, oh, <laughs> good grief. Six feet, dude. <laughs> Well, I guess we've been in quarantine together, so I mean, if you get it, I get it. Yeah, we're quarantined. If I get it, you get it. How lucky you are to be quarantined with the old man. Well, uh, and these are in no particular order. We just figured them out. So, uh, one thing that you don't never know about driving a Volkswagen is, guess what? You're going to break down. Now, uh, you could be driving something as snazzy as this 71 Bay Westie here. This one needs a long way before this one's able to, to you can drive it and it breaks down, but that's something you're gonna ha is gonna happen. You gotta remember, uh, most of our Volkswagens are classics. They're old. Some of them are even older than me. That's really old. So, um, if that's the case, remember, you need to be prepared. Um, and expect it. You're gonna break down. It's just gonna happen. Don't let it get to you. It's a part of the experience, part of the journey. One of the things we always say about when we go places in our Volkswagens is, uh, it's getting there is the best part. Just once you're there, eh, okay, I made it. Getting there is the best part, the journey, that kind of thing. And just expect that you're gonna break down. It's gonna happen. We have, uh, we have videos, you can see a link to the spares that we carry. Uh, with us and uh, just be ready, man. That's all you got to do is and just accept it as a part of the uh, part of the drive, part of the journey, and uh, and you're gonna break down. Most of the times that you break down, you're gonna be able to fix it. Volkswagens have 10 gallon gas tanks, which means you get gas a lot. So when you go to gas stations, people always come up to you and talk to you. For me and Boomer, my single cab here, it's always why'd you cut up an old Volkswagen bus? And them not knowing that single cabs are a model. And it's always along the lines of just weird stories and like they get really up in your face. It's kind of why we're not filming this today because of the quarantine. We don't want people up in our faces at a gas station. You always have people come up to you and talk to you and uh, if you're not a friendly person, Volkswagens probably aren't for you, especially out in public. <laughs> number three kind of ties in with number two there. And someone's gonna tell you they had one just like it. Now I got a nice 63 single cab here, and uh, someone come up to me and say, man, I had an 82 van again that was just like it. I go, oh, it was a truck? No, it had like eight seats in it. And you just look at them, oh, that's really cool, man. You still got it? Volkswagen people, the older people, they uh, their memory gets a little hazy. Their years come around. People say they have one just like it. You just gotta go with it and be friendly and uh, talk to them about it and ask if they still got it, because you never know, you might end up with a Volkswagen. Hence how we got Johnson the single cab. Well, this is uh, another uh, in our series, I think it's number four, on things that you don't know about owning a Volkswagen until you buy one. And one is people are gonna tell you, hey, guess what? When are you gonna paint that thing? <laughs> so uh, usually you have to be really nice. And uh, usually what I do is I say, hey, uh, it's got character all its own. Uh, it has sometimes it, we call it a lovely patina that kind of thing and then sometimes it's kind of like Jerry where well It's just kind of been like this and it would be very sacrilegious if I ever were to paint this bus This bus got a new nose on it uh, long before I got it and it's a deluxe nose off of a 67 stuck on a 65 Westie So you know what it is what it is. It's a part of its character It's been on here for as long as a uh, gosh. I mean that's 30 years. <laughs> that's a long time over over half of its life I'm I'm, I'm okay with with the way the paint is. So people are gonna ask you that. They're gonna say, hey, when are you gonna paint it? And just say, well, you know, uh, I'm not. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, so I think number five in our series here of what uh, in the world uh, you're gonna learn from owning your first a Volkswagen, and that is, and this isn't a bad one, but it is true. They are VW Genuine Money Pits. Look at this bad boy right here. Look at all the parts. This is just to make this car go. It's like full. Hey, this is a HB20, by the way. Wow, and you can w win this genuine VW money pit at the harvest in October, fingers crossed. No, are they money pits? 
I mean, you gotta buy parts. They're old. The best thing is, is try to keep things as original as long as you can. Because unfortunately, some of the repop parts aren't so good. They're made in a place that I don't want to say its name. C-H-I-N-A. I don't know how many letters that is, but five, four letter, four letter, five letter word. Five letter, yeah. But they're not very good from over there. There's just nothing comes from over there. So if you can keep something original for as long as you can, do that. Okay? But these things are v genuine VW money pits. And look right down here. Corn Dog Graphics can set you up with a decal that actually says genuine VW money pit. Number six. Somehow, some way, with Volkswagens, you end up owning more than one. When you own one Volkswagen, you find yourself owning more than one. Started with a single cab, got a Sicaro, Scirocco, <laughs> and now the old man is filming from inside Ziggy, the 66 bus. But uh, here's the thing with Volkswagens is, you find yourself owning more than one. Like we uh, we talked to our buddy down when we filmed in the first Volkswagen show of the year, the dude had like six different notchbacks, or type threes. You never know, man. So many people have so many different Volkswagens and, you know, water cool, air cool, they all just get kind of jumbled together and you will find yourself owning more than one Volkswagen when you get one. It's like if you give a mouse a cookie, man. What? It's a literature book. Everyone's read it. And if you give a mouse a cookie, you he's should be reading The more. Idiot's Guide I by John Muir. Guide. You should not be reading anything about mice. <laughs> if you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want some milk. There ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way that you could come from my loins. <laughs> well, the air-cooled Volkswagen motor. <laughs> what can we say? That's just one of the many things that you have to learn how to do. You gotta be able to work on these things yourself, otherwise they're gonna get really expensive. But there are people out there that work on them for you, and if you're not very mechanically inclined, initially, it's okay to take to, to some of the good, reputable shops out there. I highly recommend doing that, because those guys need to stay in business just like everybody else. But eventually, you yourself, you need to learn how to do some things yourself. I mean, simple things. Setting the timing. Okay, on your distributor, okay? Adjusting your, your generator belt. If you gotta change a fuel filter or anything like that, just general maintenance. Uh, adjusting your valves or something that's very important. These are all things that you guys need to make sure that, only the Volkswagen is one of the things they don't tell you, but you need to be able to work on them yourself. Look, I think they're way easier to work on than a lawnmower, so that's a good thing, all right? It's air-cooled, you don't have to work with any antifreeze, you won't kill any cats in the neighborhood, that's pretty good, unless you run them over. And they're pretty smart, unless they're on their eighth live, and then that ninth one, eh, it happens. There's not much to these. But again, they're gonna need general maintenance. And that's one of the things that people say, oh, I'm just gonna get it and drive it. And well, it's not a Honda or a Toyota. You gotta do some work on it. And it's it's part of it. It's part of getting your connection with your Volkswagen. That's what makes ownership of these things what it is, is getting down and learning and understanding that these things have some sort of weird mechanical soul. So learn how to work on them, man. Back from Ziggy the Bus here for number eight. We talk about Volkswagenism when we're driving these things and when you're with everybody. And I think one of the big things is the feeling of driving a Volkswagen. It's like you get the air blowing over you because you ain't got no AC. You get the, the, the vibrations of the road, the harmonics. It's all part of that Volkswagenism. And uh, it's something was when you're with all your friends and you're cruising along some back roads or, you know, just all in a nice little caravan. And it's just, there's no better feeling than driving a Volkswagen. And I think that's the eighth thing that uh, we all don't tell you. It's like, there's no better feeling, man, than hitting the road and in your Volkswagen just driving it. And uh, yeah, you know, things happen, you break down and whatnot, but when it's good, it's great. And that's, uh, that's something that's really cool about driving an old Volkswagen, man. AJ, this is uh, uh, this is number nine. 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 Yes, number nine. Yeah, okay. And this is the biggest one in my book. Owning a Volkswagen, you actually end up making uh, and becoming with your lifelong friends. Absolutely, without question. I am blessed with the friends I have because of being a part of the Volkswagen community. Yep. You've been in this thing since you were about born. Yeah, and uh, my best friend, the reason we became friends is he needed a ride home one day from school and I had Boomer, I was 16, I gave him a ride home and uh, he thought Boomer was cool and we just started hanging out and now he goes to Big Ben with us every year and those Big Ben guys, I mean, 
Yeah, our uh, Big Ben Bus Bash. Obviously, that it uh, there's a special bond with the crew that goes with the Big Ben Bus Bash. That's just it. Just is. It's something you can't explain to people. And then we've got, uh, of course, our Matoga group. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. The guys that put on the harvest uh, and and the VW Life. I mean, it's all we're all one big deal. But you know, we're just lucky. I mean, it, we did a Zoom thing last night, and we actually we did the filming, and then we just sat around and just like, hey, look at this, and look at that, and we did that for like three hours it was st i think we stayed up really late and i got to see what tommy has in his fridge is he prepped up for the quarantine he's doing a pretty good job we are blessed by the friends that we have and that we've made because of Volkswagen. i'm sure you guys have uh, your communities where you are and people that you have and then we are lucky here at vw life that we've extended our friendships of vw community throughout the planet because of this youtube channel mm -hmm. and 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 uh, we consider you guys our buddies you know and like as soon as you guys come over here man let's let's hang out we'll go for a cruise let's get through what we're getting through right now as a as a human race but we're all in this together and then the bonds that we make as friends and because of these crazy old german cars it's a crazy thing huh and someone asked like why are volkswagen people the way they are Anyone can have a Volkswagen. The the elite rich of the rich that are dropping sixty five thousand dollars like without even thinking on a twenty three window to you know guys like me are struggling to you know make it through or high school students their first car is a seventy one Beetle like you never know who's gonna have a Volkswagen and it, it brings us together because of these things you've seen on this list they do break down no matter what Volkswagen driving someone had one just like it. <laughs> It's all part of the Volkswagen experience. I mean, Jay Leno is one of the rich of the rich, and you go on his garage and you see Volkswagens there. You know, uh, Fluffy, I mean, Iglesias. Yep. He's got Volkswagens out the Yang. And it's, it's, it's this community of everyone knows somebody who has one. And if you get one, you're going to meet people. You're going to find that community in the Volkswagen world. And that's, that's it's pretty special. I don't think any other car mark has that kind of connection. I, where, where there's such a scale. Yeah. I, yeah, We've talked about that. I don't think, I just don't think it exists. And, and, and Volkswagens are here. And it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, man. It really is. So shout out to all you guys and the community. And, and, and I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm very blessed to have the friends that I have and in and, and the world that I, that I have. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, that was nine. That was, and I'm stumped for number 10, AJ. God, there's, <laughs> I got nine really good ones, man. <laughs> I get, to, yeah, you, you, we did come up with nine good ones. So here's what I figured out. We figured out. Yeah. Why not? Let's let you guys come up with number 10. Yes, sir. All right, so think about this. All right, let's think this thing clearly. Things they don't tell you about owning a Volkswagen. Okay, we've done nine of them. What's your number 10? What do you think? It could be something obvious that we're missing, and it could be some little detail that we all go, oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're simple-minded. Very. Yeah, I we wear the same clothes every day. You do, almost, except when it's cold, you wear put long pants on. So, uh, VW Life, got some merc there. We want you to comment on what you think number 10 should be as far as things they don't tell you about owning a Volkswagen. So, uh, please do that, and uh, we're going to go through there and pick the really most clever, funny, uh, snarkiest one, and uh, we'll send you some VW Life swag. And make sure you subscribe, and make sure you tell your aunts and tell your uncles and everybody about VW Live. Hit your like button, subscribe, spread the word. We love this. We do this for the Volkswagen community. We do it for y'all. We do it for us. It's for everybody. This is us. This is what this is about. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.